Hello Gemini, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your July 2020 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. I can't believe it's July already, oh my goodness. Oh, looks like there's travel in the future for you. And that could be a good thing. Let's take a look here and see what is coming up for you Gemini in July 2020. Wow, it says your apprenticeship is over. And I don't know exactly what that means for you. It could be several things, or it could be several things for different people. Um, it says working on a relationship. You know, step back, step back, okay? Uh, but you need to speak up in that area and say how you feel or how you feel about somebody because it looks like you're, some of you are looking kind of aloof maybe, and uh, the person that you're with or wanting to be with is feeling kind of alone. Also, it says those worries you have about uh, how things have gone in the past. I don't think this has to do with love. It says, like, if you're waiting to hear some um, uh, confirmation about uh, health or um, work, it just says, you know, just maybe it wasn't so good before. Maybe it isn't so good right now. But you're going to get some uh, good news regarding that. A lot of you are. And it says in the love area again, it says it's going to take a little work. You have to stop working so hard. You can't keep, you know, it's almost as if you're running from yourself. You're working so much right now. Um, and that's maybe not even your job. You could be cutting the grass, doing the dishes, whatever. It just means that take some time for you and connect back with um, your family. Those of you that have kind of, you know, just said, oh, I've had enough. And I know things have been tough for a lot of people. Um, the calls that I get are people are worried about the future. I feel really confident things will get better, but for the here and now, let's live in the moment. Let's stop, you know, looking, you know, years in advance. Let's, let's look right now in this week, this month, this day, or the rest of this year even, because there's going to be some more changes coming, but I feel that they're going to be good changes. I have the Wheel of Fortune here, meaning if you can put your worries to rest, I know it's easier said than done. I know better and I still will worry, but whatever we worry about most is going to show up right here for us. So it says new beginnings, definitely possible. Beginning of a journey, beginning of a family, beginning of a business. And it might even be a beginning of, you know, uh, surrendering, letting go, and releasing the fears that you have. You have a lot of angel help around here. Don't give your power away. If you're tired after work and your kids or your grandkids or your wife or your husband or whatever wants more to do it, you can learn the N word, which is no. You've got to take care of you physically, spiritually, mentally, because when you do that, you're going to have a lot more to give them. So says you are going to be making some choices about your own wants, wishes, and daydreams, which for some of you have been put away for a while. And it says don't be afraid to make that choice. When you have joy, bliss, and ease around you, guess what? It's much easier <laughs> to give more to them says uh, money issues that you're worried about, that will become too. I just feel like so many people are worried about money and their health and their spirit. And when we pull all together and keep positive thoughts, that's a big energy that we put through. You are going to have reasons to celebrate this month. So open to receive those also. And all will be good. Um, official contracts that are signed or even agreements that are official. Make sure all the paperwork is in order for that and things are in order. Preparedness in reverse. Make sure you go over everything one more time before you sign. If you're purchasing a house or signing a contract for a job, whatever it might be, just make sure you look over the fine print. And it says if you did have a disagreement with somebody, even if it was a really one, big one, Saying I'm sorry might be the best course of action here, at least putting out the white flag because they um, also feel bad about this. So it's not just one-sided. It says it's going to be an interesting month. If you have any legal issues coming, make sure you're ready for those. Um, preparedness, preparedness, preparedness. And it says looking over the documents um, is going to be important. But I also feel that you're going to feel like a victor this month in more ways than one, over health, over work, over wealth, whatever it might be, what's going on that's causing you fear, this is a good month to let that go. Best you can anyway, easier said than done, I know. But it says we can't fix what's gone, we can only work with what's left. Do not be talked out of something you're really wanting to do. 
whether that be is, means going on vacation, you want to go on a fishing trip, whatever it might be, it says it might be just what you need. So stand up for yourself. And as long as you're not hurting others, this could be a really good thing. Try not to feel guilty about wanting to do something for yourself, Gemini, because it says you're overdue for something like that. And it says speak your mind in a kind way. And it really, you will be heard. And what more can we ask for with that? This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you, Gemini, dropping in. And I'll see you again next month.